Hello, hello, this is Driving Force reporting. After my simple green cleanup and washing, what I did is, and this is part two, uh, there'll be probably another one, of uh, reviving my bumper. Now, you have to see previous video to know what I'm talking about, but um, what I did is, I'll show you something very interesting. Uh, to me it is very interesting okay I'm moving around and I want you to see this this is the bumper uh, the other side do you see the stuff on it I mean that is really what bothered me and the roughness of it uh, a lot of roughness and, and some kind of a fuzzy thing and um, spots and spots and those streaks they were on the other side as well but a good friend of mine uh, at work said um, try and this is what I got is the turtle wax bug and tar remover and what I did is basically after having it washed with simple green scrubbed as you could see uh, before claying I decided that I'll use this and I'll do the other side so you see on uh, this bumper before claying like the tar the bugs if there were any so stuck you know like forever type of thing that um, simple green wouldn't remove well the streaks are gone the product gave it kind of a lustrous shine okay I like that um, and I'll show you how I did it now there is roughness don't get me wrong but there's something even a little more interesting which uh, I want to show you before I get to uh, the actual uh, using of the turtle wax which I just I'll show you quickly how I did it and what I came uh, across using and learning to use this product is I actually uh, took this and magnifying glass and I wanted to inspect this is actually a chemical removal uh, when you do your nails I do my own nails so um, I went very close with my magnifying glass and this this black spot here was troubling me with a magnifying glass looking at it real real close I actually kind of like a dentist you know think of it as ridiculous I poked it a little bit and I realized under magnifying glass that this is not tar this is not a black speck and something stuck on top of the finish now this is quite smooth alright this is quite smooth it's actually shiny feels so good it feels like moisturized and <laughs> I'm going to be polishing it so so this feel will be gone for a, for a time but I'll restore it now that just tells me that I, I inspected some other black parts here like this these are actual chips there are chips in the finish and they are into that black whatever plastic they use to make this part of the car so they show black I can't remove it that's like all right you gotta live with it at this point but it made me feel so good you know like places like this this is not tar really <laughs> that's what detailing is about I guess it's kind of fascinating this is all a little scratch and so I feel great because clay should get rid of any other stuff but this is obviously you can see it with naked eye that this is just a, a, a rock chip now here I'm hoping that some of this whatever it is left will be gone with clay and polishing now this side you can see how bad it kind of looks it looks untidy to me and whatever black speck I have because I did this tar remover product uh, you can't see this one but um, there it is 
I inspected it, okay? It was touched very gently. And I didn't want to ruin my nails. Obviously, I'm a girl. Hang on, you can see my mess, mess now. All right, these are my things. Um, you're gonna put it here, like so, and pray this is, that it doesn't fall on me. And here will be driving force in action again. Here we are. Uh, this is how I did it. Um, okay, you have to give it a minute. And I had tons of rags. Now, because my bunker is, you see, this stuff could be anywhere, everywhere. I mean, the tar they talk about, the tar, the tree sap, uh, could be everywhere. So, and when you spray it, it comes out like this, okay? So, you can't do just tiny little place. At this point, I'm just covering the rest. I don't want it to go much of my life. Here we are. It's kind of, kind of like, let's like say, um, what would I call it? It smells kind of good, you know? But then, <laughs> women, women are used to more different smells. You know, we can do our nails and sit with our nose next to it and doesn't bother us. So, I don't know, it smells good to me. It smells kind of like some kind of a shoe cleaner. <laughs> there I go. <laughs> With my nose. Ooh. <laughs> anyway, it looks, looks like, oh my god. <laughs> and they say, no, 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 you can't use water on it. It's supposed to like, wait a minute. Like, la di da di da Well, uh, I, <laughs> of course, knowing me, I agitated it. <laughs> I actually wanted to even improve the action of it. I think if there's anything, then this just helps it, you know. Well, it did it on the other bumper, so you see me go for it. Ah, getting it on me a little. It wasn't bad on my hand, I'm not using gloves. But it looked conditioned. One could actually leave it right after this. I mean, this looks so ridiculous, okay? This. <laughs> For a moment, I panicked. I panicked because I was like, uh, you're not supposed to use water. You won't rinse it. It's kind of greasy. It's like a lotion, like, like a shoe paste almost, you know? When you put it on leather, it will shine. Of course, don't put it on leather. Uh, but what I'm saying is water will not remove it. So, I quickly ran for a whole bunch of towels. And I was using old towels, not microfiber like they say. Because at this point, I'm going to wipe, wipe, wipe. I may get another towel because, see, I panicked. At this point, I panicked. I'm like, how many towels do I need? And I was just wiping it. They say wipe it, polish it, buff it. So that's just one side because I don't want to touch all that as much. And you see what's going on? It starts actually uh, being like moisturize and so that's what they call they say buffet now this towel is all kind of soaked up so i have a pile and pile and i'm using just fairy towels kitchen stuff yeah i'm a woman that you know <laughs> doesn't care about the kitchen no she wants to use her little tea towels on the car all right and you just work your fingers into it and I don't care at this point as much because I'll be washing it again. See, I want to clay it after this. But I wanted you to see how... <laughs> you can panic when you see this. Uh, the white. Of it. But now it's like... Now I could use this little fluffy thingy. Microfiber. And 
and actually, you know, bath it, bath it, bath. So one could just use it like this. Smells good. When I did my inspection, yeah, it feels nice, you know. Of course, here you would do like some groovy cleaning. But um, the point is, all right, I did this step. No. <laughs> Excuse me, but you know, I want to finish this video so it won't be too long. Those ugly streaks are gone. Ugly streaks are gone thanks to turtle wax, bug and tar remover. They're gone. The rest, like I said, I inspected, there are chips, now I will clay. I'll do everything possible. Here we go. Driving force style.